Mick Foley. If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? There is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Cactus Jack was the most brutal man on earth. And mankind? Mankind ate the sins for all the world. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via mix special pixie dust. Besides, after what you've just been through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls. But what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits. In the match that made mankind legendary, hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. is a hell in a cell match making her way to the ring and from redondo beach california the ninth wonder of the world in a cell, the most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE, and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you'd fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my pal, Mankind, you'll know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Have a nice day!
You're certainly making waves around here. Are you still spooky? <laughs> Not so much. Cool. I actually wanted to talk to you about your work outside of WWE. You've made some waves yourself. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Would they be interested in booking a different WWE superstar? Specifically one who's me? Actually, they probably would. Want me to set it up? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. If they'll have me, I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Big fan of smelling things. Right... Anyway, thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint.
Here comes the big cheese. It's Cap. The following contest is scheduled. Zia Lee is not here to make friends. She is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. been all over the internet because of a cheese smelling show you're talking about cheese please love that show and cat was great on it her observations about gruyere pairings were actually quite astute oh, this is cheesy even for you two that's too early for that vicious knee able to parry that one Oh, there's an arm breaker right to the spine. What a clothesline! Ouch! Look at this. Oh, a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Hoisting their opponent. Oh, Fisherman Buster! Ooh! Tossed into the corner. Clothesline! She's staying elusive. Caught with the elbow. She's feeling the hurt here. She can withstand the punishment, though. Measured elbow drop driven down. And Zia Lee is really falling behind. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. Back suplex on the apron. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Carefully measured knee drop. Measured elbow drop driven down. Quickly slips behind. German suplex. the hammer right on the lower back and now she's got all her gears running it looks like there's nothing there that can stop her oh and that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now it might limit range of motion in the entire arm carefully measured knee drop and attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here and that's all she wrote here is your winner the Princess Big
a leader in or out of the ring. The captain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The Princess Babe Reynolds. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. J.C. Jane, a superstar with a rock star attitude. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. J.C. Jane only looks out for herself. In fact, she proved it by viciously betraying past allies. Not making any new friends around here. She thinks she's on a completely different level. Already so accomplished, I can't wait to see what JC does next. Well, if it isn't the internet, darling, the captain. Not just the internet, I feel like everyone is talking about her these days. She's got some serious buzz. But all the extra attention means more scrutiny. She's going to want to get a big win tonight. From the apron, what? Whoa. Jane out of there in a hurry. Toss back into the ring. She manages to get control. Slingshot into the neck breaker.
Referee in position. Trying to get this over with pronto. Clubbing strike breaks up that move. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Big form. That offense taking a toll on her. Fisherman suplex. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Measured knee drop. Ah, uh, setting them up for a full fisherman buster. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Just stretching out the arm. Jane has no control here. Jane is really having trouble with her defense. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Half and half suplex, lights up. And JC is taking on a lot of offense now. Jane is really having trouble with her defense. Ooh, what a forearm club. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. From behind, snap German suplex. Strong forearm. Will this be enough? She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. She's able to get out of the way. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. A back suplex right out of the apron. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. It's been a wild year, but it's great to be back on Raw. No, wild doesn't even scratch the surface, Cole, but let's just focus on this match tonight. Saw that one coming. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. <laughs> Mistake made by Jane. Uh-oh. That should do it right there. Oh, look at this. Reverses the leverage. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Pendulum back. She covers for the pin.
Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Suplex. And JC is taking on a lot of offense now. Yeah, JC's being. We got a cover! No! Kick out at two! She just won't stay down! Knee right to the gut. JC's in big jeopardy here. Got the arm! Disarmor! It's gotta be over! Think about all the pain she's in right And now about to do it, folks. Here is your winner, the Princess Babe Reynolds! JC Jane, enraged by this loss. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. I know you're just here to train, but I gotta ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Not as concerning as when you went all evil floating people on us, but still doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese-smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? Hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit, or are we talking cheap-looking suits and rental cars? I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Ugh, oh, you're killing me here. And definitely getting catfished. <sighs> Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. But so far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it of is... Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his aunt can get... Come on!
bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's the Welsh Dragon herself. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I heard she's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. The cat needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Right to the leg. Stomping down. Ah, uh, setting them up for Fisherman's Buster. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. suplex. Oh, my goodness. She's starting to look concerned. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. An unrelenting assault being brought to Knox. Yeah, Knox is having trouble fighting Whoa. back here. Look at the angle. It's nasty. Nothing but bad intentions when you work your opponent's back like that. Good defense. And now thrown back into the ring. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Just stretching out the arm. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Jeez, that could take you out. She's struggling to defend herself. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver. She's pushed into the corner. Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Oh, wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't just interrupt the match. Where's security? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tegan Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. Whoever that man was, he certainly didn't do Cap any favors here tonight. We got to get better security. that hi <laughs> sorry alfie juniper you're the flesh here i know who you are alfie oh, i am shocked to see you exist but what were you thinking interrupting my match and that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility look nothing i haven't encountered before i realized that the director might need to do another take but i just couldn't help it another take that's not how this works that's not how any of this works what couldn't you help? I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity! Although, I may have misspoken a bit. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know, uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista?
I want to co-star with Batista. I love the fashionable outfits and Dutch angles of an indie film. Perfect! <laughs> I think there will be a strong hat component to your wardrobe, too. So you'll dig it. I'll let the casting director know you're in! I'll talk to your people around here, too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. I gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. That's what allows me to be sneaky. Like a ninja. Coming back from break, first team to the set. Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Batista money goes a long way. I'm hardly there. Yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, but there's been a lot of confidence in the suspicious sandwich based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. A-list buzz. Very well.
Zoe Stark is here to face a mystery opponent. It's the captain of the silver screen. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the Princess Babe Reynolds. I gotta hand it to the cat. That was quite the arrival, and she looks like a million bucks. Hollywood suits her. Then maybe she ought to take the first bus back. There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now, Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Ah, stops the legs. Ah, trampling the opposition. Foot right to the belly. And the powerhouse Zoe Stark knocked off her block a bit. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Yeah, now Stark's got to turn the momentum around. Who will play the knee? Ouch. Very measured elbow drop. She's going up. Top rope here. Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. Oh, brace for this impact! Like a guillotine. Rolling neck snap. Ah, look at this. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. And now she's setting the pace of this match. Yeah, she's really being the aggressor lately. To a backbreaker, painful. Targeting the leg. Uh oh, this is not going to be good. This could be it. This is how you punish your opponent. Zoe wobbling, looking vulnerable. Got the arm. Stark gets put away. In the end, Zoe Stark suffered damage and couldn't recover. This is not what Zoe Stark had in mind. Good evening, and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me. 
Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite Dave Batista in the indie film The Suspicious Sandwich, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Can I just say I'm such a fan of everything you've got going on? <laughs> you certainly can. Do you want an autograph or something? You're so funny. I don't get autographs. Do you want one? <laughs> I'm good. But how can I help you? I just see everything you're doing. In the ring, you're winning. You're awesome. Outside of the ring, movies, web shows, and that adorable captive audience thing. By the way, I totally got how the title was playing off your nickname. I don't think most people did, but I got it. Anyway, the one thing I think is missing from the whole Cap Charismatic universe is me. No offense, but I'm not really looking for a tag partner right now. Hmm. But are you looking for an assistant? You do have a lot going on and I'd be great at it. I can get you in and take you to all the best spots, snap pics with you on social media, go shopping with you. I mean, that's my specialty. Wow, that's a lot. But I do have a match in Japan coming up and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed juggling it all. But it's more work work than what you described. I'd be looking for someone who could help arrange travel, maybe do a little research on some guests for captive audience, answer some basic publicity requests and emails, that sort of stuff. Are you kidding me? I love buying plane tickets and digging up dirt on your guests. Sign me up. Plus, I'm on my phone all the time. Could this be? It would be great to have some help. I've got a match against Dakota Kai, and with all this on my plate, I've barely had time to get to the gym. Maybe it's worth a try. Yes, tell I'll me. give you a list and see what you can tackle. Oh, and I'm sorry, but I... So cliche. I love it. Send me everything, not a problem. And you get yourself to the gym, boss. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The Princess Ben Reynolds. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Cap is ready for her close-up. Dakota Kai has arrived. A truly dangerous woman, even if she's on your side. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota.
Dakota Kai might just be one of the most treacherous and cutthroat competitors the WWE has ever seen. Her incredible ambition is matched only by her willingness to do anything to make her goals happen. Dakota simply wants the glory she knows she so richly deserves. If a few friendships or the hollow respect of the WWE fans is the price, then she's happy to pay. We'll see just how far Kai is willing to go to secure the victory here. Yeah, but she's facing off against someone who's as stubborn as she is talented. It's not going to be an easy fight at all. Tied up. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Then again, you can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. And here's a cover. Dakota Kai with the easy kick out. Just powered out. Got it cinched in. This could be it. There's a small package driver. Dakota is in a daze. Could be over soon. Got the arm. Top loss for Dakota Kai here tonight. Look at the anger and fr Have such a great time in Japan. I'm feeling so good about this trip for you. Thanks. I have to admit, it was nice to fully focus on training. I feel better facing Dakota Kai than I have in a while. And I can't remember the last time I got to the airport this relaxed. Do you have my flight info? So glad to be of service. Flight info, fun wrinkle. Apparently, it's a whole different day in Japan right now. Who knew? Anyways, time zones are really confusing and your flight's not for another eight hours. But no worries, you're here now and we have a car there to take you straight from the airport to the Japan Dome for your match. I don't even get to check into my hotel first? That's a long flight, Chelsea. There won't be any time for that. It's already tomorrow there. Crazy, right? Anyway, good news is I got you into the absolute best sushi restaurant in Tokyo after your match. You're right. I'm sure it'll be great, assuming I'm not too tired and can still eat solid foods. You're in luck. They have amazing soups. You'll love it. And since you'll be gone for a bit, I should totally have time to grab that dry cleaning before you get back. Thanks.
Cora Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. Always imaginative and always... It Behold the modern day witch. We've got some unexpected chaos as four women all showed up scheduled to face Cap, who was expecting a singles match. That still doesn't explain why Cap's in street clothes. Something's clearly off with her, and she better hope it doesn't carry over into the ring. Big knee to the midsection. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Uses the edge of the knee. in mind. Absolute destruction. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Looking for elimination here. Nothing fancy here. Big break backbreaker. Oh god. That looked devastating. Just going with every blow. Casey Jane has been eliminated. Cora Jane has been, been eliminated. eliminated. Kick to the gut creates separation. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Nice counter from Indy. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The air raid crash. She's enduring some damage. Yeah, but she clearly has just as much of a chance to come out on top of this battle royal as anyone else here. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. tonight a well-earned victory here tonight the entire women's division was watching this one and she is the one to watch guys
so glad you're here. We never discussed my benefits package. PTO, 401k. Yeah, we'll get right on that. After we discuss how you and Tiffany totally screwed up and never canceled a single one of my opponents. You expected us to do that? I think Tiffany pretty clearly said you can cancel the one you don't need. Are you serious? You and your assistant, which is crazy by the way, but whatever, are supposed to be making my life easier, not making me look incompetent. I didn't even have my gear. It was still at the dry cleaners. Do you hear yourself right now? I really don't like this energy. You're coming in with a lot of attitude and totally talking to me like a subordinate. What's that about? You are a subordinate. Okay, that's it. These working conditions are unacceptable. My assistant and I are on strike. <laughs> oh, I'll strike you. That's what's gonna happen. Threatening striking workers with violence? Pretty sure that's legally protected. And besides... I'd tell you to name the time and place, but I'm fairly sure you'd find a way to screw that up. So how about we just say- I'll check with Tiffany to make sure that works for my schedule. Talk about surprises, it's Cap with Stacey Keebler. And their opponents, the Princess Babe Reynolds. And Stacey Keebler. Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton tried to take advantage of Cap, and she wasn't having it. Now, they're going to deal with a WWE Hall of Famer. Who hasn't competed in ages? Respect to Stacey, but this is a whole different ballgame. Will Cap recruiting Keebler pay off, or will ring rust be an issue here tonight? These two former assistants used to roll calls, and now they're trying to roll their ex-boss. I'd expect executive-level chaos. But Cap's relied on her Hollywood connections to recruit WWE Hall of Famer Stacey Keebler to join her enterprise. That's quite the merger. Well, let's see if there are more HR complaints or ER visits before this one's over. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied! That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Ooh, what a damaging blow! Chelsea had that well scouted. Fez press! Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. She had it scouted! Go behind, into the tournament. And she'll make the tag. Oh, oh perfect kick. Ooh, forearm connects. And that can rattle Chelsea Green's foundation. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner to tag. She's in about as good a position as you can hope to be, still. Oh, God, that hurt. Carefully measured knee drop. Oh, that was just malicious. That's disrespectful. Well, this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Off the barricade. 
face first off the barricade. The advantage is turned towards Keebler. This is Stacy putting herself in the driver's seat. Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. And a slap, too. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. count this match has ended i think that ref's count might have been a bit fast but hey it's his decision the best agent in the world if the answer is anyone but you it's gonna be really awkward it is me i've got two words for you trish stratus and now i got six more is going to be on captive wait sorry miscounted one more audience how amazing is that that is totally amazing i can't believe a wwe legend is gonna is she a wwe legend too that must be why she was so eager to come on! I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week, and all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. Oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. Love it! Break a leg! Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expecting to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's got to be annoyed she has so little time to prepare for Cap. 
She gets to face an indie vet instead of a Hall of Famer? Sounds like Charlotte's already won. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. She sent flying into the corner. Wicked clothesline. A uh, R bar. Oh, you have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. Look at this. Boom. Nice. She steers clear of that one. Saw that coming. Standing drop kick. Great ups. And Charlotte can't find an answer for these attacks. This is where Charlotte will be tested. Oh, dragon suplex. She's into the ring again. Oh, goes tumbling to the outside. The fight could get very dick. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Arm ringer. Well, that changed. Oh, my! Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Ah, look at this. Isolating the arm. A consistent attack being mounted on Flair. Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. After that, it's... Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Achilles rock. It wasn't fancy, but they're free. She sent back in under the ropes. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, man, face first. Chop the base. Into a backpack stunner. Things taking a turn for her now. Point of view, nailed it. From behind, German suplex. She returns the favor there. Oh, the elbow connects. <laughs> what a forearm. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch, that's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Now. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. The fights are way out of the Achilles lock. Oh my goodness, dribbling the shoulders down. And she breaks free before a one count. She's really letting her opponent know how much fight she has. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. Charlotte Flair. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. What a suplex. Great quickness. Let's roll through into the pin. Great combination. No, a kick out. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Just stretching out the arm. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Michael Cole, the queen, could be moment. Uh, working on the Achilles, but not for long. Great counter. And here we go. The Boston. Oh, Boston Crab with no. Oh, my Lord. How did she do that? Uh, rolling neck snap. She got the shoulders down. And she breaks the count. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Flair retaliating. Yeah. 
The Queen putting in the work in the corner, making the climb to the top rope. Moonsault, no. Yes! Second chance worked out for the Queen. Two! And she fights it off. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Float over. Oh, into a DDT. A helpless Charlotte. Does it mean the end is near? Got the arm. This over. It's got to be over. The queen. Oh, this trap, but she gets away. Selection. Did Charlotte just end this? Shoulders down. What? You gotta be kidding me. What just happened? Uh, I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. Is Charlotte now going to have to find a recourse? Find a new means to an end. Back suplex. Spine crushing. Uh-oh. Clearing off the announce table. Uh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Oh, that can dislocate something. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Hey, yeah, guys, she's dangerously close to a count-out loss. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, what impact. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Barely made it back in time. I didn't think they were going to make it. Into the corner now. Oh, God. And there's Charlotte finding the energy to keep attacking. Charlotte must be thinking about ending things sooner rather than later. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Can you believe this? I love it. Oh, look at this. Trap now and just a sharp elbow. Charlotte measuring her opponent. Ah, the knee right to the face. into the ring. Standing drop kick. Great ups. This could do it. And still in this. Obviously still has some fight left. Watch this incredible core strength. Up and up. Great power. Masterfully executed Regal Plex. On the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Back suplex. Spine crushing. And she's gone after her opponent's core. Uh-oh. She could be setting up for a submission here. The Achilles lock applied. This is agony. Uh, working on the Achilles, but not for long. Great counter. Uh-oh. Dragon sleeper applied. This could be it. Well, I'm going to tap out here, but ain't going to matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Four. Standing drop kick. Great ups. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Oh, nice take down. We're going to lock it in. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Yeah. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, the Princess Reynolds. Falling victim to the ref's count. This one is over. The winner looks a bit let down that...
Yeah. Hey, so... Yeah, what's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although, Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want her. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out, too, if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight. So I'm going to take advantage. So it's a blessing! <laughs> no. But I'm going to take lemons and make lemonade. And you're going to figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you... We're about to witness the terrifying strength of Piper Niven. Few superstars in WWE can match that power. And I don't know if there's anyone who can beat her impactful arsenal. When Piper steps between those ropes, there's little to no hope of stopping her. She looks very determined to prove just that here tonight. But on the other end of the ring is a female with unparalleled focus. A woman who is unflappable in and out of the ring. Gonna be very difficult to get the advantage on her. Amazing. That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control of the entrance music has an itchy finger. And she dodged that one nicely. We are European uppercut. Oh, and Niven turns the tables. Put into the corner now. Wicked clothesline. Cover. And they kick out at two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Snap. She's beginning to flag a little. And Piper is failing to offer any resistance here. Niven scoops their opponent up. Uh oh. Look out. It's a lucky driver. Did Niven end it there for the win? Shoulder up before the count started. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. She's trying, trying to create space. Standing drop kick. Great ups. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam, suplex. She's firing up, no doubt about it. You can't do that. She's showing signs of slowing now. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? And she gets to the ropes. That's why always knowing where you are inside the ring is so important. Hardbreaker. Mm -hmm. 
Hooked in. Small package driver. Rolling neck snap. And an overbearing amount of offense against Niven here. Niven's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Got the arm. Disarmer. It's got to be over. What's going to happen here? I think she's got an opportunity to turn this around. She... And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner. The Princess. What the heck was that about? No, but... We need to backburner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> backburner? The whole, somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted uh -huh. my- Uh-huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but the set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here and now it's not here the whole set so we didn't have a show today because we didn't have trish stratus and now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set basically the audience might have been captive but the set sure wasn't sorry uh, too soon i knew it was as soon as i said it but yeah wwe is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of their words but angrier when they said it Great. We'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's gotta be someone who saw something. One of the most decorated superstars in WWE. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalya reveal who stole the silver talk show. It's a real Agatha Christie, Michael. Who could have done such a terrible thing? The rumor mill is saying that Trish Stratus is a prime suspect. Would not surprise me a bit. Who wouldn't be jealous of Cap? She's not a superstar, she's a supernova. She probably didn't expect it to put her away there, but she's put her on notice. Ooh. Oh, what a... Oh, that could produce a dislocation, or at the very least, a pinched nerve. And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top, all the way to the outside. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Standing drop kick. Great ups. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Natalia. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. Back straight into the post on the outside. She's fighting back. All right, she's back in, ready to go. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Using the elbow as a weapon. Ooh. Oh, 
Ooh, she got it. Oh, God. Carefully placed stop to the arm. A little oh. insult to your injury. What an interception. Hit your dragon screw legwork. Here's the cover. Roll break. Pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. Nice takedown. Bang. Me right on target. Can she do it here? The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Ooh, what a forearm club. She's taking a beating here. They've definitely taken cover. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Now, brutal. From behind. German suplex. Nine. That had to have taken an incredible amount of leverage to pull off on someone so much bigger. Able to sidestep it. Big form. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. Going for a European arm breaker. A oh, timely counter by Natalia. with Alaria. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alley-oop! Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Incredible how they were able to... And here we go. Locked in. It's locked. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Set by the side rushing leg sweep. Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Natalia's locked in the crosshairs now. Got the arm. Uh, Disarmer. It's got to be over. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? Can she hold on? This is absolutely excruciating. It's hard to watch. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the Princess Paige. I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36. Sus it was Trish Stratus. 37 suspects. I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. She's out in LA opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky thief. She's got the public totally fooled. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that car. Consider it done. You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing, and where I could find a number. It's fine. I'll figure it out.
So I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims that we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. <laughs> why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for- You got hacked and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny though, she kept making mistakes so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or she was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Dal, they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be- Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is. I think that's pretty much universal. Quiet on the set, please. Places, everyone. And action. And we're driving. We're driving this way. Oh, and this way. And we're looking at it. And we're looking at it. Oh, look at her. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. Creeping in. Creeping in. Creeping. Backing out. Backing out. Backing out. And come in for a high five. And now stand back to back.
Look at this. Trish and Cap are on the case. And the Princess Babe Reynolds and Trish Stratus. This is ridiculous. This is a serious premium live event, not some infomercial to market outside products. That's right, Corey. Tonight, Backlash is brought to you by Down Up, Down Up, created and presented by The Miz. Trish and Cap hoping to do double duty out here, taking care of Charlotte and Natalia and promoting their new detective show. It's ridiculous. They look like two girls playing dress up in daddy's closet. This is one match where I do not back the blue. Well, someone's ending up black and blue one way or another. And a carefully measured knee drop. Last second knee to the face there. What is she planning to do now? Uh-oh, all the way up. Inverted suplex. Something's about to go either very from way up. Fist directly to the gut. A club with a right forearm. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Ah, uh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Yeah. Now there's all the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron. Get in front of me. No. Spiked. The patience of Charlotte being tested there. But as we know, she can get mean real quick. Well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael. And I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. So she tags in. Partner tags in. Strike more devastating than the last. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. Producing a trampoline. She could pin her opponent right here. Raises the shoulder before the one count. She's still in this one. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you could suplex that much weight. What a wrist clutch suplex. And the boat struggling a bit to stay afloat there. Just an incredible amount of lower body strength displayed there. On the top, double axe handle. Cover. Shoulders are down. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. Momentum is clearly against Natalya now. I don't know if Natalya can withstand this. Placing them into the corner. Natalya turns the tables. There it is. Snap suplex. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Oh, ouch. Boom. Ah, oh, striking with an A. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Down right on the neck. What a fall! Oh, targeting the arm. 
this has got to hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Wicked clothesline. The switch here to Trish Stratus. Yes, tag. Caught with a clothesline. the opponent. Oh, man. Didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Made her pay for her mistake. Kick. She can end it here. And a kick out right away. Wow. Oh, strong impact. All the momentum is swung to Trish Stratus. Trish continues the assault with great precision. She's got 